This channel does not promote the use of legal or illegal substances. This video has been created strictly for entertainment and harm reduction purposes. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you knew, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to talk about my top 7 CBD benefits. Guys, for the last 60 days consecutive, I was on CBD and today I want to discuss the seven benefits that I encountered in those two months. Benefit number one, reduction in inflammation. Absolutely miraculous. Guys, I have to be completely transparent here. Yes, I switched from a vegan diet to a carnivorous diet, but that was around about half a year ago. From there out on, I experienced less and less inflammation of course but once i introduced the cbd two months ago my inflammation levels just plummeted absolutely dropped no water retention no chronic pain no inflammation in my joints all of that was gone and that is my number one benefit of cbd benefit number two anxiety relief guys again i will have to talk about my past as a vegan as a vegan, I started developing a lot of anxiety, a lot of social paranoia even. I was anxious on a daily basis. Through CBD, that anxiousness, that angst is gone, it just vanished. It took me around about one week, I would say, until I felt that ease, that absolute relief, that joy again. It is absolutely amazing. It is a miracle drug, you can say. That effect is something that I would experience while smoking marijuana, while smoking cannabis. And in the beginning, I would feel a slight anxiousness relief. But then after that, I would get paranoid, right? We all know that stoner's paranoia. And therefore, I couldn't balance it out. The relief that I was seeking, this bodily calmness, that relaxation, was countered by the paranoia of the THC. But CBD is an extract of that marijuana plant. It is not psychoactive at all. Anybody could take it because you are not under the influence, but the anxiety is relieved. You will feel at ease, you will feel relaxed, but you're not stoned. Absolute humongous benefit. That brings me to benefit number three, a stable mood. Yes, no fluctuations, no ups and downs, no mood swings. CBD keeps you stable. I find myself less angry as well. If I look back in certain situations, I would get more temperate. Now with CBD, I keep my cool much, much easier. And that leads me to benefit number four, dealing with depression. Guys, if you've been following this channel, years back I had an autoimmune disorder that led to depression. I battled that depression back in the day with psychedelic mushrooms. From there out on, I didn't seem to have any problems. Then, when I was vegan and my body was missing crucial nutrients, from there out on, I developed depression again. After reintroducing animal foods, that depression vanished. But there was always this possibility to kind of step back into depression. I want to give you an example. If you imagine your body as a house and you would think that this house is just absolutely flawless, right? Every room is pretty, every room is clean, it's just beautiful, beautiful pictures on the wall. But then one day you just stumble across another door somewhere in the basement. And first you cannot really open it up, right? But then you try and you try and you try and you try and one day you open up that door and you step into the room and out of a sudden you're surrounded by rats, disgust, filth, dead bodies even if you will, in that room. Some sort of basement that has been kept away from you. The most disgusting, vile secrets in that room kept close for decades. Now you find yourself in that room and out of a sudden the door shuts close. Once the door is closed, you're not coming out of it again. That is depression for me. 
That is how depression feels for me. And even if you make it out of that room, you know the door exists. You know the room exists. And sometimes you find your fingertips on the doorknob. And somehow it drags you back into that dirty, disgusting, dark room. This is how it felt. And since this room has been reopened on veganism, I found myself step into that doorknob and peeking in, never really fully immersing myself into that room, but taking a peek. Since I'm using CBD, that door has vanished. It is as if a team of construction workers just emptied out that room, cleaned it out, put bricks in it, concrete, cemented that door, and there is no way for me to open it up. Depression absolutely vanished through CBD. Benefit number five, sleep. Absolutely amazing sleep improvement. It is really tremendous. I've never seen anything like that, but with regular wheat. But yet again, I do not like that psychedelic effect of marijuana. I personally cannot cope with it. I need a sharp mind. I need to work. I cannot be stoned all the time. It doesn't work for me. And therefore, I was always seeking something that will put my body to rest, that will help me with sleep, minus the psychedelic effect. And this is where CBD comes into place. It's absolutely phenomenal. My sleep quality has improved. No nightly visits to the bathroom, just sleeping through, finding REM sleep way, way easier and faster. If you have sleep problems, CBD could be for you. That brings me to benefit number six, recovery. Sure, good sleep leads to better recovery. That is a fact. However, I find that my muscles are less sore after working out. That must be a combination of better sleep and less inflammation, of course. However, that is a benefit on its own for bodybuilders especially. I would go so far and would drip some CBD drops into my post-workout shake. Absolutely amazing to amplify regeneration and with that make you more resilient and let you train more often during the week. Alright guys, and benefit number seven, the last one. As I mentioned, I had an autoimmune disorder. I talked about this on this channel. And this hasn't been properly diagnosed. The doctors prescribed me antivirals, all kinds of medications and nothing ever helped. I healed my body through the usage of psychedelic plant medicines, such as magic mushrooms and ayahuasca. Those plant medicines, those alternative medicines, always treated me very, very well and helped out with my illness. But there was one pain that I never really discussed here on this channel. I never really talked about it. I thought this will be permanent and hey, no big deal. I've seen worse. It is something that is called a phantom chronic pain. Phantom chronic pain in my limb. It is called phantom pain and that is so frustrating to me because I felt that pain from back in the day when I had real inflammation in my limbs from that autoimmune disorder. However, if I would go to doctors, they would tell me that is phantom pain, phantom chronic pain and we cannot do anything about it. Maybe you should try hypnosis or try positive thinking, right? Uh, probably it's not there. It's some sort of placebo effect. Yeah, great, fantastic, thanks a lot. How do I deal with this? That was my question. And for eight years, basically, I couldn't deal with it. It was always there, no matter what I did. That phantom pain, this little burning sensation, starting from my glutes and going down to my toes. A chronic inflammation of the sciatic nerve. Absolutely nerve-wracking. It just sucked, what should I tell you? It never disappeared. No matter what I did. I was in the Amazon jungles, I drank ayahuasca with the shamans, I did magic mushrooms in Thailand and Bali and whatnot. Nothing helped. Antivirals, medications, western medicine, acupuncture, massages, physiotherapists and whatnot. Nothing really helped. <sighs> it was crazy. It was frustrating. CBD, on the other hand, for the first time, it took around about 10 days. 
and that pain is gone. It relieved phantom chronic pain. And that is a miracle to me. All the other points, yeah, I was battling with, but it wasn't that severe. This one is really, really personal, a really intimate point, if you will. That shit drove me crazy. Honestly, that chronic pain in my leg. And since I'm taking CBD, it's absolutely gone. There is nothing any longer. That chronic pain would constantly remind me of those days, of those days when I was sick and somehow I couldn't move on. Every time I would like to feel healthy, I would have that slight pain. And it would just remind me of those days. I was chronically inflamed, laying in bed for a whole year. It was terrible. I couldn't let go. Only through CBD I found relief. Guys, this medicine is absolutely miraculous. It is absolutely fantastic. It took me quite some time to record this video because it's pretty personal. Honestly, we all battle certain issues in our lives. We all have something that nags on us, be it depression, be it inflammation, anxiety, sleep issues or whatnot. And CBD can truly help. As with anything, you will have to see it for yourself to see if it will help you out. We still have that freedom to try certain things on our bodies in order to see if we respond to it or not. So guys, in the description box, I posted some links for you. For the European crowd, I have some Amazon links. You can go through our portal and you can get your CBD today. For the American crowd, however, I have a very special link to Joy Organics. Joy Organics is an absolutely phenomenal CBD supplier. Their quality is off the charts. Unfortunately, they do not deliver to Europe. And therefore, as I said, I have the Amazon links to CBD products that I personally used as well for the European and for the Australian crowd as well. However, if you are American, definitely check out Joy Organics. They have great prices and absolutely amazing quality when it comes down to CBD. Their tinctures are off the charts. Absolutely amazing. Give it a try. Anyways, guys, this is my review. This is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. And let me know as well if you experimented with CBD. And we can take the discussion from there. Let me know what pain relief or what kind of symptom relief you got out of CBD, if any. I'm really fascinated by it and this is definitely a field that needs to be researched and needs to be promoted. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. As always, much love and peace.